Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate you guys listening and tuning in. Yo, check it out. You guys know that the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Also, also, thank you for making the Lockout Men Podcast Show your favorite podcast to listen to. Shout out to my man, Trucker D, for sending me Scoob E. Dude's video, man. My man is giving it up, y'all. He's hanging up the keys. He been in the game for quite some time. And, and with the fuel prices, the parking, and, and, and trying to keep the home front together, he's stepping away from trucking, y'all. Scoob, he says uh, the prices of fuel... The the rates going down and a few other things, parking, because he's from Memphis. You know, he said that parking is beginning to be an issue. And among other things, you know, fuel prices, paying for the truck, I guess. He's giving it up, man. Let's check out and hear what Scoob had to say about the reason why he's hanging the keys up. A lot of things, some things had to change. Uh, first off, uh, been having trouble around Memphis parking. Couldn't park the truck certain places anymore. Uh, they're cracking down at the place I were parking uh, up the street. Uh, they charge fifteen hundred, five hundred for the tractor, uh, five hundred for the trailer, and five hundred if it's loaded. And they'll tow you. PBJ, PBJ is uh torn trucks now uh that and the fuel the fuel is killing your boy scoob man it's killing scoob so uh uh thank uh colonial man because uh i was getting home every weekend and making good money but now uh whew, man it's hard it's hard i feel you bruh i feel you man especially if Let's talk about the parking for a little bit because some areas, especially if you live in a metro area, it is kind of hard to park or find parking for your truck and trailer. And when you do find a good parking spot for your truck and trailer, it doesn't take long for other truck drivers to, 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 to mess up your little watering hole. You know, you could be the only one there. You could park good, but then all of a sudden, a truck driver would see your truck there. Then another truck driver would see another truck there. And then all of a sudden, you got a big old cluster fuck. Now, being in an urban area such as myself, it is kind of hard to find adequate truck parking. Luckily for me, I am able to drop my trailer at the one place that I usually park, and then I could bobtail my truck home and I could park my truck next to my house. I understand. I understand. Truck parking is 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 a big issue when <laughs> truck parking is a big issue if you live in a urban area such as myself. Fuel prices? Yeah, bro. I you know, he was a you know, he was a lease driver, leased on with the company where he was at. And the fuel prices was was getting him. He wasn't able to make a profit. He wasn't able to make a profit. Let's let's see what else he got to say about you know why he hung up the keys. Hate that I've got to leave, but I'm going to. Uh, I turned in my truck. Uh, oof, uh, it's hard to do, but hey, uh, I had to do what I had to do. Don't know what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna take a take me about a month or two and just relax, get away from trucking, try to get my wife. My wife has just been oh man, it's it's been it's been hell. It's been tough, man. It has been tough for her. Trucking is tough for everybody in the midst, man. It is especially if you have a relationship. If you're married, if you got a girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever the case, trucking is is hard on relationships. You know, you're gone for you know for weeks at a time, and 
you know, your significant other is at home missing you and everything. And it just, you know, it, it, trucking just caused problems. You're going to have to step out of the truck in order to rectify them problems before they become major problems. So for a school to see that, that his wife has feelings and he sees that it's hurting her, he's taking the time to make sure that his home life, his wife, is okay. This is my decision. Uh, I'm just tired, man. I am tired. Trucking is not what it used to be. We've got fellow drivers out here that's disrespecting other drivers. And like I said, all it takes is one or two drivers to mess it up for everybody. Where I was parked at up the street here, uh, drivers start coming in, changing oil in the parking lot, leaving oil filters on the little grassy area, dropping trailers, leaving trailers there for anywhere from six months, three to six months, just sitting in the empty trailer there, leaving tractors there with the hood broke on them, and uh, it was just leaking oil everywhere in the parking lot. Man, it was, it was a disaster, man. Crazy. And I agree with you 100%, school. It only takes a couple of drivers to just mess up a whole thing, good thing. You know, it's unfortunate that drivers that, you know, they they just can't leave well enough alone, man. You know, if you got a good thing set up with a, with, with a person to park your truck, and then another driver comes in and disrespects all of that, that just messes up for you. And now you don't have nowhere to park. Now you got to pay X amount of dollars. But as school about to say, he's only there for like a couple of, like only on the weekend or whatever the case, he's not there every day. So spending $185 a month, it's really not, it's, it's really not good for him. So I don't have time to try to find another place to park. They got places here where I was parking at with Baylor. The man won $185 a month, and I'm only at home for 34 and everything uh, for Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and I'm out on Sundays or Monday. And uh, then they want you to leave. You can leave your car there in that spot. That's why they charge you 185 because that spot belongs to you when you're truck there and when you're truck not there, you park your car there. Well, the only thing about that is they've had people park their cars there and then somebody bag in, hit their car and then they go and they won't tell them. So uh, those are things you got to watch out for, man, right there. And then you got these own operators that park in there and you would think they have good security cameras, but they don't. They still in fuel from you. So you get back up there. That's why I used to always run my truck down to below a quarter a little bit so that that way when I did, did park, couldn't nobody uh, uh, steal the fuel out of my truck and stuff. But uh, I said I was going to go get these fuel caps and stuff, but I just said forget it. I ain't going to worry about it. And I mean, drivers, is it that bad out here that you guys got to – disrespect other drivers by stealing their fuel really bro you you don't have that you, you don't have that respect for me no more man you had to steal my fuel i i gotta make sure that i get a, a fuel cap so that y'all won't steal my fuel i park my car there knowing that my spot will be there when i come back but you guys hit my car and don't even tell me about it. Y'all hit the car and look at it and be like, oops. Y'all don't even tell me about it. Well, school, man, I I I I hope uh I hope everything works out for you in the future, bro. Uh I have been, you know, a fan of your channel for quite some time. Um, great guy, great content, very faithful uh gentleman. And I, I would definitely love to have you on the Lockout Man podcast show. So, um, again, bro, uh, stay up. Hopefully things will turn around for you in the future. And we'll see you back on these roads, man.